I have a theory that I'm not going to tell you yet because I want to hear your theory okay. first. But why? Why did and and it coming from you? I think I think it's more it's more credible as as someone that that supported Trump, predicted that Trump would win in 16. Um, why did the Trump administration get COVID policy wrong? For most politicians, there were very few, even Republicans, who stuck their neck out. I could probably count them on one hand. Um, Massey, Biggs, a little bit of Ted Cruz, a couple people here and there. Of course, Governor DeSantis and a few other governors came along for the ride. I, I think, and, and Rand Paul would, would Rand Paul, be on that short list. Yeah. Rand Paul, yeah. yeah. And, and so, it, the, but it was very far and few between. And, right. and I, I think in the end, he was listening to people who were basically cowards. They were very fearful. In their minds, they really did believe that millions of people were going to die if they didn't take this action, right? And it's like, look, this is a, a viral respiratory aerosolized pathogen. You, you might as well put forth your puny arm to stop the Mississippi as you would to stop this thing, right? They really had in their mind that they were gods. They could control this thing. They bought into the Fauciism on this stuff, and they thought, we'll just go. I, I think um, I, if I were to put the blame... Uh, I think the buck stops at Trump. He he's really good at at his gut instincts, but he's also he he trusts people, and a lot of people won his trust, and he trusted the wrong people. I'll tell you one person in particular who should take a lot more blame is um, Vice President Pence. Pence shepherded Burks around the country on her rainbow tour to all the governors. That's why DeWine in Ohio became a big Covidian. Uh, it, you know, she basically convinced a lot of people of this fear, Doctor Fauci fear. All these things he bought into, and um, he he trusted the wrong people. Yeah, um, I, I had forgotten that about Pence. That's a that's a really important point because she was um, enemy number two, I guess. If if Fauci is the the Doctor Evil of of COVID lockdowns, um, I have a complementary theory to that because, and this is just just theory. I have no evidence except for what I saw at the time. Um, parallel to um, the Trump, Fauci, and often Burke's press conferences was um, the governor of New York doing (laughs) his daily press gaggle uh, where he's pontificating about, and I've documented some of the more ridiculous (laughs) things he said about, you know, following the science and it's just facts and there's no emotions and and it it was all BS, of course. But I think that Trump, the marketer, saw hmm. Cuomo killing it on the ratings. Rival, huh? Yeah, oh, interesting. He's, kill, he's, he's killing the ratings. <laughs> That's right. And, it, was, it was the mic. Yeah. And he had the mic, yeah. And oh. and, and it, this is, this is I'm not just the policies, but my beef is that he made Fauci into a rock star by, by, by platforming him yeah. and, and making him the scientist that we all needed to trust. Um, and I, I think it was, it was, it started off as a marketing thing. And once he went down that path, he couldn't, turn the ship back around.